shit. Okay. Welcome. I used to play uh, competitive table tennis, uh, but not anymore. And I kind of got out of shape, as you can you can see in uh, a lot of my videos uh, recently. So I decided, why not? Why not to use my knowledge of what can be, what of of my knowledge of training, fitness, and my knowledge of diet to make me come back and play at professional table tennis level once again. While doing that, I can teach you a few things, and I believe uh, is going to be a lot of value for uh, you who starting your table tennis journey who on your way to become pro or if you're a pro already you're looking to improve i believe i can help you in uh, certain instances so i decided to start this series uh, i was talking to some of my friends some i was thinking road to pro they were thinking road to wtt this series will be a success I'm gonna be considered completed only when I play on a WTT tournament and get a win if I get a chance to play if I get a chance to play against somebody and if I win then the series will be granted a success I believe this is a pretty cool premise today is actually a day or the episode of laying a first foundations today is Edmonton open first day of Edmonton open and I got a lot of issues with my body and my game that we have to deal with like for example I have some knee problems uh, and it's gonna be in a future episode where I'm gonna have an MRI done but today is a foundational it's a baseline where we see where I'm at currently uh, today's Edmonton open there's gonna be some people from United States there's gonna be some people from around Canada yeah we're gonna compare see how I look I'm gonna record every game and yeah we'll f we will go from there we're gonna make a plan of uh, action for future we'll see this is hopefully gonna be a weekly series so you better like subscribe i'll be posting some different content in the meantime but once a week maybe every uh, every sunday maybe i'll be i'll be posting uh these videos so stay tuned subscribe like uh and let's start today's first episode let's do this okay welcome friends today is going to be the first episode and i think this is going to be uh the format that we're going to be using i'll uh my game's gonna be uh, uh, as a b-roll and I'm just commentating over them telling you what I do, how I feel, uh, what I do in games um, and every tournament I'm gonna be playing I think that's what I'm gonna do. Today first game is gonna be Jason uh, I've been playing against a very uh, interesting kid in Jason Lewis as I get this surf to go <laughs> uh, and you see my reaction I was very surprised that when we went through it was very lucky but Jason is a very good uh, kid from Calgary, very uh, high potential. But as you can see about my shape, uh, I am uh, overweight, as we, uh, if, if you want to call it. But um, this tournament uh, was Edmonton Open, International Edmonton Open. And I'm going to be playing another Edmonton Open a little bit later. It's going to be the next video. But as you can see, this was a very close game. Jason came back from 10-6 in the third game and uh, we got it done in the end. This was team event and uh, we beat Team Calgary the first game. Uh, now we're playing against American Gate and it's Nanda Naresh and Sid Naresh with the two people who were crazy good and it showed because Nanda beat me uh, and I managed to get one game off of Sid and I managed to get one game off of Nanda but this was about it. As you can tell I have knee brace on, my knees are not very in good condition currently so there's gonna be a lot of stuff to work on if we want to keep progressing in this series but uh, what I can tell you is that I played another tournament after that already and uh, I felt much better I felt much better and uh, I think we're under on the right track but uh, yeah Sid and then then show came uh, showed masterclass to everybody of what professional table tennis should look like and even though I once uh, used to beat them uh, I'm not the same I was three, four, five years ago, right? Uh, and plus, they're not kids anymore. So yeah, Sid is uh, playing incredibly well. Even though I believe that Nanden may be a little bit more gifted in terms of feeling and uh, his overall game. But day two, it's not looking good, bro. As I, as you saw yesterday, I was limited in movement already. Professional guys like Sid and, Na and Nandan, uh, yeah, they. they they beat me just because of their movement. I don't, I don't, I don't think I'm worse than them in any technical category. But movement, movement-wise, you you see me. I'm overweight and not trained enough to compete with these guys. Injuries that I have is something that I've been dealing with for a long time. Yeah, I can I can feel them today. Like I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish singles. My movement is gonna be even more limited today. So it's not looking good. I'm 
considering getting some painkillers. I might go to a store and get some painkillers right now, but yeah. As you heard me say, it was day two and I felt terrible that day. Uh, the first game I played against David Mandelstam from Vancouver and he's actually my first ever student. Um, so it was nice to see him again and play against him. Uh, and uh, yeah, this was a great game even though I couldn't move. Um, this was a good uh, learning experience for me because I kind of during that tournament I got uh, a lot of confidence from just knowing that uh, I can beat people with my smarts and without moving and I can just play a good tactical game instead of playing an athletic game. So this was very important for me to realize that I can still that I I do have this other area of my game as I do Nash Chikira uh, down the line to go. And I beat David 3-1. It was uh, this was the game that I was uh, feeling very comfortable about myself. And the last game of today's video is going to be against George Gao, George uh, from Calgary. Um, very very strong forehand, very strong backhand, and uh, you're going to be see seeing later. I'm going to be playing Lucas Wood, the uh, probably one of the best Vancouver guys that's that's out there, uh, and it's a good measuring point for me to see how I go up against those guys because. If, if I'm in the best shape of, uh, of, for myself, I think I can, I can beat those guys. Uh, but for right now, uh, as I am very limited currently, uh, this is what we are going to have to deal with. And we actually can see my progression throughout um, this series while uh, we go on this little journey. Um, yeah, George, me and George had a pretty interesting game. I actually really like what we did. And, uh, we had pretty go good, amazing points going on. And I'm going to leave uh, the rest of the game right now here. And you can see George plays Hurricane on both sides, which is very interesting. Uh, not often you see people play Hurricane on backhand as well. Uh, but yeah, he plays far from the table. And as you can see, this is my game, playing close to the table, playing off the table, uh, which helps me against... Uh, people of his style But as you also can see my knees don't move my legs don't move. I barely move and that's because uh, My starting weight of this series is I started at 112 kilograms, which is not not a great way to start off, but uh, Yeah, we're gonna be moving throughout the series. I'm gonna let you know update my health uh, status my weight uh, and overall how I feel uh, how I feel um, there's gonna be a lot of more, a couple more tournaments, as George gonna win this one, uh, this game, I mean. But the whole match uh, is still yet to finish. Uh, so yeah, Th things are gonna be very interesting in this real uh, WTT series. Hopefully you enjoy the idea. Hope you you like the premise. Uh, leave your comments what you think and maybe uh, some suggestions if you have. Uh, but yeah, me and George are gonna battle it out for the last game. And uh, for the second game in a row, I start off really well. Uh, and as uh, future videos gonna show, as we get another good, great, great point to go being close to the table. As future videos gonna show, I tend to lead 2 0 and then relax and lose a game, which will bite me in a booty, uh, in a booty cheeks, because uh, I'm gonna lose a couple of games because of that. Because I'm not in the best shape, and because the game gets extended, I no longer have uh, power and strength and energy uh, to keep playing as I was first couple of games. So uh, this is one thing to be careful about uh, for me. But yeah, you can see 10-4, and George is gonna get a couple of points back. But we're gonna win this match. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe. Uh, and I'll try to get uh, more out as soon as I can, but I'm um, aiming to make this a uh, weekly occurrence So thank you so much for watching and I see you in the next one